Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton. Thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar has managed to regain further momentum overnight against the greenback, although still is contained by the level of the 68.85.95. It is assessed while the market still fails towards the mid-September highs, I do believe we are looking for a pullback from 68.15 to 67.70, which I still regard as a base. It is viewed that the many times that we've seen failed towards this level of 68.85.95 should continue to play out this pattern. The euro overnight took another brief look at the level of 110.65 and rebounded. But the dollar slipped slightly, but still maintains around the 97.50 break level. At present, the market is still expected to test towards the downside of 110.65 and lower eventually once broken to 109.55. Later, it is viewed the Federal Reserve will widely cut rates for its third straight interest rate cut Thursday morning at 4 a.m. Sydney time. Nearly 80% of the economists and strategists expect a quarter point rate reduction. However, roughly 60% believe the Fed will pause after for the rest of the year. So we could see a neutral to a possible hawkish statement. Nevertheless, if that's the case, then the dollar is most probably going to rally. Now, we did get a bullish outside range day for the US dollar, and we still, at this present, Got a bearish outside range day, but this bullish one may negate that. But nevertheless, I still feel we are looking towards the downside because the technical implications still remain heavy. So, if some of you are up at 4 a.m. Sydney time tomorrow morning, then we'll see if they do cut 25. But more importantly is the press conference, which Jerome Powell will give at 4.30 Sydney time a.m. Any advances should see resistance around 111.45 minor to 111.80 to 112.15 as firm. Very interesting to see that Dolly Yen took a push to the upside but hit the level of 109.05, posting a high of 109.06, its highest level since last August. And from that, we've got bearish divergence. So you've got one point to this high point and you've got this point to this lower point, this point on the MACD to the lower point giving indication that the bears may be soon called for and see a push back to the 108.40 level. This is a trigger level that's taken a few challenges but not closed under there. And if so, then I'm still looking and I remain bearish to 107.15.35 once to cut the 108.40. Very interesting to see that the UK is set for a 12th of December general election after MPs voted for it. Now, the UK is set to go to the polls on the 12th of December after MPs back Boris Johnson's call for an election following months of Brexit deadlock. By a margin of 438 votes to 20, the House of Commons approved legislation paving the way for the 1st December election since 1923. Still, market from a technical point is still respecting this level of 127.85, a trigger point, and once broken should serve further risk towards the downside possibly but wait for the break technically though it is getting heavy so if so i'd be looking towards the bottom side of the range around 125 gold slipped further overnight and now closer to its level around 1476 as initial base beneath there is 1460 but the market is still a little bit jittery in terms of the federal reserve rate announcement so let's see how gold plays out. We could still see a knee-jerk reaction, but there's a bit of work to do on the upside, and we still need to clear the level of 1,501. If so, then that would give further scope to the upside to 1,512. Wrapping up with oil, well, the market took a stab at the level of $54.5 and, and rejected it, but still poses a little bit of a threat there as we're not quite out of the bear case as the indicators are breaking down. We could see another move to 54.40 or maybe down towards this trend line, short that is, 
the 53, 35 to 45. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoyed a great start to this new day.